got a handle at the local hardware store at, at Finkel's and um, totally the wrong size. Totally doesn't fit at all. So I'm gonna shave it down a little bit and we're gonna see if I can make it fit. So I am breaking a lot of rules here. Look at all the space up there. That's not good. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. I want it to come down and sit lower. So I'm trying to shave away as much of this ax head as I can. I don't think it's gonna matter how much I shave away. It's never gonna sit in there the way I want it to. I want it to sit like that. I'd have to go so deep. I'd have to go all the way down to the knuckle. I guess I might as well try. Either that or put a shim right in there, shim some wood in there. I don't know what else to do. When I open up this eye with the wedge, it's still going to be sitting. There's going to be all that space there. Can't have that. Okay, time to problem solve. So again, breaking all the rules. This is where we are right now. Check that out. I, I got a nice curl on the bottom. So the bottom is a good fit. But then the top is crap big giant gap there that I'm not going to be able to fill in there's no way no matter how deep I go I'm not going to be able to fill that in so I'm going to take this shim and I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to use this shim and I'm going to shim the front totally wrong but let's see what happens let's see how horrible it is so shims in now I got to drive it in drive that shim in. I think I'm going to use the rubber mallet I think I'm supposed to use wood for this Maybe I will. I can't get it in there any deeper than that. Look. Ugly, ugly, ugly. We're going to keep going, though, and see how it turns out. And this guy, we're going to put in the front. Okay. Totally breaking the rules right now. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah, what's the worst thing that can happen, right? I won't tell anybody. This is the ugliest FX for head ray hang ever. Pretty interesting. They, the, where did this come from? Tractor supply. They had a pin through there, I guess, to reinforce it and steady it. I'm going to drive a nail in. I'm going to put a drive a nail all the way through. And I'm going to utilize that hole too. I don't know why. Probably isn't going to help anything, but I'm going to do that and see what happens. Okay, is it ugly? Extremely ugly. I just put the nail in. And then I just bent it up on the other side. So is this an ugly axe rehang? Terribly ugly. Terribly breaking all the rules. I have a feeling it's not going to hold out long. But I'm going to go chop a little bit and see, uh, see how it does. Let's go check it out. So the old axe handle. Just crack that sucker. New axe handle. This one's fatter. This one's definitely thinner. And I didn't take the, they've got like a lacquer finish on this. I didn't take off yet. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so we're going to do a little chopping with it. We're going to see how it works. I'm not real optimistic. We're going to try and finish what we started a long time ago. So we rehung it. The ugliest axe head rehang you're ever gonna see. Right there. We'll see how long it lasts. Again, don't tell the bushcraft guys. I'm a little embarrassed. I drove in the, the, the steel, the metal wedge that they give you at a little bit of an angle. And it totally crushed my, <laughs> my wedge that was in there. <laughs> um, 
I drove a nail in the side because it had a little hole. It's got a pinhole in there. So I pre-drilled it and I drove a nail through. Um, it does a pretty good job. Look, uh, it's not, again, it's not, it's a medium duty ax. Can you see that? You know, it's not terrible. It's not a terrible ax. I was using it for this before I broke it, trying to chop a, chop a log. I was using it for splitting. I mean, that's all you needed to do. This might be just beyond its pay grade here. But it works. So, the ugly axe, the boy's axe rehang. $21. The handle costs more than the original axe. But I just wanted to see if I could do it. And it doesn't really, I can't really get a super sharp edge on this. But if I'm using it primarily for splitting, that's okay. That's, that works.